Hello my beautiful and handsome Leos, welcome back to Baby Boss Tarot. Hey guys, uh, thank you for your likes uh, and subscribes, and for your unsubscribes. Um, everything you need to know about me, all my links are in the about section, please go check them out. So if you'd like to donate to the channel, the link is in there. Um, if you'd like to check out my website also, that link is there. Um, let's just get into your reading guys, okay? I will be putting um, a hell of a lot of stuff on eBay this week, so um, go check it out. Uh, it ranges from, because it, um, yeah, it, it ranges from, like, all metaphysical products, um, there'll be tarot cards, incense, um, necklaces, you know, jewellery, rings, um, and if you like world wrestling, entertainment, or anything wrestling, I have a lot of products on there that I'm trying to get rid of as well. There will also be, um, DVDs and books. I've got a hell of a lot I need to sell. Okay, so, Leo's, you might be doing the same thing, Leo. You might be trying to make some extra bit of money, so you could be just, um, literally on a sell, sell, sell. You could be worried about finances at the moment. Okay, anyway, this is a love reading. This is a carry-on from the weekly love reading that I did for you, and this is an oracle reading. All right, so, Leo, what does Leo need to know, please? What does Leo need to know? Wow, okay. They all came out, so I'm taking them. All right, so you've got bond. I love bond. Strong, grows stronger over time. You could be seeing this beautiful yellow flower around a lot. Uh, that will be your sign um, to the person that you have a strong bond with. Um, they could be wearing a flower, like in their lapel. Um, if it's a female Leo, um, you could be seeing um, someone with a little yellow flower in their hair. Or something like that. Anyway, attraction. Divine soul counterpart attraction transcends superficially. Superficiality. This is your twin flame. So 1111 is an important number for twin flames. It symbolizes the harmony and balance of soul counterparts. Mm -hmm. Yours has turned into a twin flame reading, okay? So I'm going to label it that. Okay, so past lives. We reunite with our loved ones over and over again through many different lives. And you've got enlightenment. With enlightenment, there is no separation. We recognise that we are one with the divine. Your intuition is on point at the moment, Leo. So listen to it. Pay attention to your dreams as well. Write them down in a journal. All right. What is the fortune for my lovely Leos? Okay. All right. So you've got luck. A sudden change of luck is likely. Things are working in your favour. Excellent time for networking. But you've also got difficult times. Be on guard against chaos and unforeseen perils or emotional upheaval are foretold. And I picked up on your finances. So this is could be what your difficult times is. It's coming up to Christmas. The cost of living has gone way up. But, no, but um, you know, the wages haven't gone up to accommodate for that. So everyone is getting into debt, getting into the arrears. Okay. All right, Leo, what else? Okay, you have got new full moon in Aries. So, a fiery climax approaches. <clears throat> we have to look out for that. Okay, you've got blue moon. So, believe in the impossible. Your full moon in Libra. A win-win outcome is forecast. So, in other words, you got a, um, you got the storm before the calm. Okay? Fiery climax. There's going to be a storm. A big tower moment. And then suddenly, you can just breathe that sigh of relief. And go like, ugh. Thank God it's over. And then your life will pick back up again. And it could be like a new year. You'll probably think, that's it. 2022 is gone. It's done. Let's start afresh. Start everything over. Let's get into 2023. And let's do things again and try and do it right sort of thing. Okay. Right. Who are you dealing with, Leo? Who are you dealing with? You've had a rough year, Leo, haven't you? Okay. Okay, so the cards you got out, Mars is Scorpio and Aries, you've got Mercury which is Gemini, you've got Aquarius, Pisces and Aries. Now let's see what these signs want to say to you. Because we've got Aries out here, I'm going to do Mars as a Scorpio. So what does the Scorpio want to say to you? What does Scorpio want to say to you? Alright, um, I'm going to bone you as soon as I get you alone. And they, they speak to you telepathically. You two do have actually have a very strong telepathic bond, you and a Scorpio. Okay, water signs are generally um, the most intuitive of the zodiacs. Uh, very closely with Gemini, Leo, and um, Aries and Aquarius as well. So uh, you've got telepathy with a lot of people, okay? 
All right. Uh, what does this Gemini want to tell you for the Mercury? What does Gemini want to tell you? What does Gemini want to tell you? They're being quiet. They've usually got the gift of the gab, but they're being quiet. Okay. I really care too much of how people think. All right. You are my soulmate. Um, I will make it up to you. Please wait. And I want to say logical and rational. Okay, that's if you're dealing with a Gemini. What does the Aquarius want to say to you? What does Aquarius want to say to Leo? I'm surprised you hadn't had Taurus come out. Because you came out in Taurus's read. And I think you come out in Cancer's as well. Okay, the Aquarius wants to say, Family and legacy mean everything to me. Be careful because they are testing you. And they will do this through manipulation and um, gaslighting as well. So please be mindful of an Aquarius, Leo. We can literally make music together. A Leo man won't leave me alone so we can be together. And please focus on yourself, okay? They're not available right now. Aquarius is going through some stuff, okay? What does the Pisces want to say to you? What does Pisces want to say? Okay. Don't worry, your toxic ex will never get to you as long as I'm around. You two have had a misunderstanding. They really do care too much of how people think. You are their soulmate. I will make it up to you. Please wait. Same as Gemini. Alright, what does this Aries want to say to you, Leo? What does the Aries want to say to you? Apparently, just one. I will only hurt you more for now. Okay. Alright, Leo, that was your read. Please like, share and subscribe, guys. Thank you.